Hi guys, it's me again. Another super fun and exciting video that I have for you guys today. Um, what I have here are my supplements. I love supplementing. Don't get me wrong, I love eating just as much, so please don't take this as an excuse to just supplement with vitamins and minerals as opposed to eating good food because one does not take over from the other. You wanna do both. Do you have to? Absolutely not. Should you? I mean, probably it's really good to get into the habit of supplementing and doing it. And I know that you always look at that girl who's at the health food store with, you know, how many things are here? One, two, three, four, five, you know, with a lot of things in her cart, that's usually me. But I promise you, when you get into the habit and the flow of things and the swing of things, yes, it might be a couple of dollars up front, but you don't need to fill them every month because most of them, you don't need to take them as much as others. And I promise you, there is like, what price can you put on health? None. And all of these things, you're gonna notice such a difference in your overall health and vigor and energy that it's gonna be one of those things that, you know, we wanna make the sacrifice. So let's get into it. What's here? Why are we doing what we're doing? Okay, number one, gut health. We all know our first defense against absolutely anything, disease, sickness, viruses, is our is our gut okay so we want to make sure that our environment in our stomach it, and in our intestines is super strong so what do we do number one you can if you want to you do absolutely do not need to do any of these things i just suggest them it's what i take so let me just it's a day in the life of what i do so i take um acidophilus okay you want a couple billion acidophilus. I love natural factors, the brand is amazing. If you wanna do an overall cleanse for one month, Bio-K is actually phenomenal, okay? It'll rebalance you and reset you. Um, one a day, two a day is what I do, depending on how I'm feeling. I love taking acidophilus. It's something that you'll just feel um, I'll just all over a benefit from when you're with your digestion, okay? To add on and take along to this, if you are someone who finds that at post meals you experience bloating or just upset, like just indigestion or where you feel like, I just ate a really heavy meal and I don't know what to do with that, this is where a digestive enzyme is gonna come into play, okay? I love having these over. I know it's really funny, but if I have a dinner party and guests are over, it's a really funny post meal conversation talk where we go around and everybody gets an enzyme if for people that are needing it. It really helps, okay, if you ate you know, it's your cheat day and you're not used to eating really oily or greasy food, this is gonna benefit you. But also, if you're in a time of just strengthening your digestive system, taking an enzyme will really help you out. These are fine because they're chewables. I love Garden of Life's enzyme. They have a raw enzyme that's my personal favorite. It has ox bile in it, which is what I'm looking for. You know sort of where your weaknesses are in your body, so you kind of want to gear towards them. So I love a good enzyme is going to benefit you. Why do we want to digest our food? Because we want it to be able to break down when and where it's supposed to break down so that the vitamins that are in the food that we're eating are readily, readily available, okay? So just like the video that we just posted about our kitchen staples, what's the point of eating healthy food if we're not going to get the benefits? So two good digestive enzymes are going to help you get the biggest bang for your buck. Why spend money on healthy food if we're not gonna get the goodness out of it? So take these and they will really help you with that. Okay, now, if you're struggling, uh, like I really was, before I started taking with energy, B complex is where it's at. Um, you wanna take a complex B or B12 and B3 and B6 if you're really looking for energy. This is something, pop it in your mouth. If you're, even if it handles stress so well. So if you're someone who's easily stressed or just in a time of just mega stress where you're, where you're really pushing through something maybe at your job or at home, take a vitamin B that will really help to get your body the strength that it needs. Now, for um, in a time especially, I'm looking outside my window right now and it's snowing and it's gloomy outside and I really miss the sun and I wish that it could come back. Until it does, we have a couple more months to go until it's spring. D3 and K2 are where you wanna be, okay? Vitamin D3 is pretty much your sun in a bottle. We want everything that it wants. It is a really good um, disease preventer, okay? So you wanna take the both of them. D3 will thin your blood. 
K2 will kind of help to balance that out. So the only side effect of this is that the blood thinning and the coagulating. So you want to take them both at the same time. I really encourage you with all of these things, do your own research. Get in the habit of, we want to take responsibility for the health and the care of our own bodies. And you want to know where you're at. Eating healthy and healthy living is not a cure-all. It's not something that I can tell you, do this, 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 and this of what helped me and, and it's gonna, it maybe will benefit you, but you might need to tweak that. Okay, there's no um, ingredient list to healthy eating or to doing things healthy. I can make suggestions and give you some of the things that helps me, but you're gonna have to do a little adjusting. Health is a journey. So even when it comes to taking supplements, some supplements are gonna work for you, maybe not others. So you wanna learn your body and learn how your body communicates, okay? so. A good d disease preventer and overall energy giver, K um, K2 and D3. Now, quercetin. I love me some quercetin. The biggest bang for your buck. We got heart health in here. We have an anti, one of the best anti-inflammatory in, in, um, supplements to be able to take. You know, there's so many things that we're exposed to that we're around that cause inflammation. So absolutely love me some quercetin, okay? Uh, if, what, inflammation causes disease, so that's an amazing disease preventer, okay? Just like D3 and K2. Now, four, everyday, multi, do we do the one a day? Do we take the gummy bites? Take the gummy bites as candy, maybe, but are they really benefiting you as much as you really want? Probably not. Um, the vitamins that are in there are not as readily bioavailable as you want them to be. So I am obsessed, Thorn, where it's at, okay? You can order these off of Amazon or go, if you go to a naturopathic doctor, they will probably carry this brand. It's the best brand, okay? It balances it out, okay, for your age group, your age bracket. So whether or not you need zinc or iron, it'll be already mixed for you. The, it's such high quality, such good quality. It's good to know. It gives your body the vitamins and the minerals that you may not be getting in the food that you're eating. If you have any kind of digestive issues where you're not breaking your food down as much as you want, something like this is going to be accessible for your body to be able to get the nutrients that it needs um, and just give you an upper on all of um, your vitamins and your minerals that are necessary. So love thorn. Love it. Love it. Love it. Okay. Now, if you're a woman, say hey, okay? Um, I, I, I kind of want to say, no matter what age you are, get yourself some primrose oil, okay? I love, some of the brands that I love, Jero, Natural Factors, okay? These brands are phenomenal. <clears throat> New Roots, also a really good brand. AOR is going to be an, a, a, a better brand than these. And then top of the list for me is Thorn. I love it, okay? But um, Garden of Eden is, is, or Garden of Life is great too. Um, but for evening primrose oil, this is gonna help you with hormonal imbalances. T you take this, um, I'm just gonna be frank with y'all. I take this every day, okay? Um, and then when, when it's that time of the month for me, I'm gonna bump it up just a little bit, okay? It's really good for your omega fats, but it's also absolutely phenomenal, okay, when it comes to just regulating your hormones. If you're noticing through that time of the month, if you're getting any skin breakouts or just having any or abnormalities with your skin, taking um, acidophilus and your primrose is gonna really give you such a good balance for that. Last but not least, um, just actually had a conversation with my uh, naturopathic doctor and he said, you can't get away from, doesn't matter what you take, you know, there's supplements out there that are immune builders and boosters and all that good stuff like osiliconium uh, that are just top notch when it comes to just giving you that boost. But he said, nothing compares to taking your good old classic vitamin C. So get yourself, this is AOR, get yourself a good brand, okay? Not a super big fan of uh, chewable vitamin C's, if that's what you're gonna do. I mean, it's better than nothing, but I'm like, go for the good stuff, okay? Taking a vitamin C is gonna help you with your boosting of your immune system. Nothing better than that. So it seems like a wrap. There are so many other supplements you could take. L-glutamine is a rebuilder. Your fish oils for your healthy fats, if you're noticing in your diet you're not getting enough or they're not balanced enough, 
it's there's endless opportunities and there's so many more things that I wish I could say they made me keep it under 10 so I tried my hardest to give you my top 10 recommendations of how to supplement so it was so fun being with you guys again look forward to any questions we'd love to answer for you guys just comment below see you later